Hi viewers, so today we're gonna make glass idli. That's an authentic breakfast in many parts of Andhra, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Uh, so for idli, it's the same as idli batter. So for that we need one cup of urad dal and two cups of idli rava. So for idli or dosa, the portion is for one cup of urad dal, it's two cups of idli rava. So we need to start uh, soaking the urad dal first like this in water for at least five hours or you can soak it overnight and the secret to a fluffy idli is you need to soak the rava as well not needed for five hours but if you can soak it for at least two hours the idli turns out very fluffy and soft that's the secret so i soaked the urad dal for six hours now. Urad dal is ready to be blended. Let's go ahead on the background. For like 20 minutes. Until it's very soft. And we can also use it ready. So let's turn this off. And check. Yes, it's soft and it's done. Soaked rava, you can either use a strainer or a hand. I use both. So let's check. Let's squeeze all it the water. Two strainers. Pour all the water. You can see rava at the end at the bottom now we add the urad dal to the idli rava you can see urad dal on the top and the rava at the bottom so now give it a good mix. Mix it well so that both idli rava and the ura dal mixes well, blends together well. This idli batter for us. So it's been blended well, both rava and urad dal. So now we need to leave this batter covered and ferment it overnight if possible or at least for five to six hours. And by after six hours or if you leave it overnight, you will see the batter raised up gets fermented uh, and if you you can leave it outside at room temperature overnight or if you live in a cold area where it snows so you can actually and leave the this in your ready. microwave i left it or put outside it in the oven. at room temperature overnight let's check so as you can see it raised up and it's well fermented let's go next the consistency and you shouldn't add salt to the entire batch at a time because it gets so much sour so take give it a good mix first and take it in another bowl how much you want to use And you can store this in your refrigerator for around 
10 to 15 days. Now I'm going to add some salt. Give it a good mix. Take a pressure cooker and on the stove and, and add some water. And as you can see, my glasses are ready. You can grease them with ghee, oil, or if you are diet conscious, you can grease, you can just apply some water and they should be fine. I am greasing with ghee. Do the same to all the glasses. See, I've greased all the glasses. Now let's go and give a gap add. because they're gonna fluff up. I fill the glasses with idli batter and as you can see you should give at least an inch gap so that they raise up already I've added water on the stove now let's go ahead and put these glasses see I close the lid now let's go and close the lid and you don't need a whistle for idlis ever because they need to get steam and you need to steam these idlis for 10 to 15 minutes you'll actually hear a sound that's when you know they are ready let's wait for 10 15 minutes and see our idlis ready at least for steaming for 15 minutes now let's go check how they turn there you go glass at least are ready now let me show you how to remove the idli from the glass you take a spoon or a fork or a knife and see the back part and this way. That's it. Your idli is ready.